to the end zone. What a catch! The Kayatan touchdown! Into the layup goes at the buzzer. Elijah wins it! The championship! State Championship Saturday here at Redbird Arena on the campus of Illinois State University in Normal. The 1A title will be decided. The Lady Norsemen of Newark against the Tigers from Illini Bluffs. Good morning. I'm Scott Slocum along with former ISU standout Laura Dornbos. We're here for the 1A state title. Let's get right into it. The keys to the matchup today. First of all, let's start with Newark, Coach. Yeah, I definitely think that Newark is going to have to be uh, pretty aggressive with their defense and making sure that they're paying attention to Illini Bluffs. They definitely have a middle that can mix things up, and the Illini Bluffs deep are, is pretty scrappy themselves, so they need to be prepared. All right, serve receiver is a big thing also for the Norsemen. Yeah, the Norsemen, they love their offense and being able to send the, set up that high-powered offense, so they themselves need to have great receive. All right, Illini Bluffs, their hallmark, their calling card is toughness, and you said they better serve tough today if they want to win. Absolutely. Get the Norsemen out of rhythm. You know, the Norsemen have been here before. They are prepared. This will be a chance for Illini Bluffs to take advantage of that. With some and the other key, a blocking. Illini Bluffs not big. Newark is. How are they going to block them? Well, just those soft touches getting good constructive touches will be key to them and just stopping some of that high off high-powered offense from the Norsemen. Let's head over to the public address announcer, Don Davis, for this morning's starting lineups.
The 2019 IHSA Volleyball Championships are brought to you by Country Financial. Preparing for your financial future doesn't have to be complicated. Take it one simple step at a time at takesimplesteps.com. Busey Bank. Your dream, our promise. And by Liuna, proud partner of the IHSA. For more information, visit liunacareers.org. Not only is Country Financial our insurance, but they treated us like family. Relationships are the single most important piece of the puzzle. We always ask this question, what is the right thing to do? All across America, teenagers are making a difference, gaining respect and changing the future. Here in Illinois, the future is now. 16 and 17 year olds can now register to be organ tissue donors in Illinois. Nearly 5,000 people in our state need a life-saving organ and about 300 people die every year waiting. Be part of the solution. Join the Illinois Secretary of State's Organ Tissue Donor Registry. Register at lifegoeson.com. Championship time, 1A style, Newark, Illini Bluffs. Laura, this one is interesting. You have your traditional volleyball team in Newark with their, their big middles, their big hitters, great setter. And then you have Illini Bluffs, just a bunch of really good athletes. You're absolutely right, and it's fun to watch because the Illini Bluffs, they're scrappy. They find a way to get the ball over the net. They force teams to make the errors, which is something that Newark's going to have to adjust to as far as they're used to overpowering teams just by pure strength. We are underway. Newark in their blue uniforms on the right of your screen. Illini bluffs the black jerseys on the left of your screen. And a 1-0 opening point for the Lady Norsemen. Their motto is POP, P-O-P. They won't tell anyone what that means until after the season. It's usually kind of anticlimactic. That's the way most teams have now. They have a slogan. They don't tell anybody until the end of the season. Then you forget to ask them. And it's top secret. Too. It is. Last year, though, we did it, We did get it out of Newark, what their motto was. But they had to win the state championship for us to find out. And a two-on lead. So let's take a look at the stars here for Newark. It's Maddie Chapman, obviously. She had a monster game. Uh, Maddie Malone, rather. She had a monster game yesterday with 23 kills. Uh, Maddie Chapman is really good also as far as uh, the middle is concerned there. So it's going to be Malone today. I don't know if she's going to have another 23-kill performance. If she does, Illini Bluffs is in trouble as Hannah Hicks goes under the net. For Illini Bluffs, well, Hannah Hicks, she's a softball player, outstanding volleyball player. She's coming to ISU. Peyton Pullman is an outstanding setter. So both teams have the players that they go to. Newark's probably a little deeper, though, in terms of sheer volleyball players. And Newark with a big size advantage as well. Yeah, there, there really is. And the middle for Newark, their middle offense is pretty effective just because their outsides are so strong and opening the block up. There's Hicks again. Great dig from Peyton Pullman. There's this defense you talked about, Coach. Yeah, they're just so incredibly scrappy. And again, they wait for a team to make the air. And in this case... That's going to be a point for Newark. As I think it was Pullman that was in the net. 3-3. The setters here today... Peyton Pullman with 504 assists on the year. She'll get some help from Lacey Pilgrim. And the setter for Newark is Taylor Christian with 904 assists. That's more like a career. I say it helps when you have powerful outside hitters and middles that can put that ball down. Makes being a setter a little bit easier. Here's Maddie Malone. Pullman with a really nice set. And that is out, not by much. Yes. 
Oh, Hannah Hicks had a nice, powerful shot and just barely missed the line. That one didn't. Right down the middle. That was just a great set. It is, and you know, she was actually, Hannah Hicks was passing that serve receive ball. She was back row, and I think Newark lost a little bit of side of her. She didn't have much of a block up there. And that is nice. That's Taylor Purdy, that's her 31st ace of the year, third on the team. Pullman will go to Hicks, dig in the back from Malone. That'll be a point for Illini Bluffs, double hit. Well, if anyone questioned if the Bluffs athletes could play with the volleyball players from Newark, I think we've had that answered in the first part of this match. Well, this is part of that game strategy we were talking about at the beginning, those keys, serving tough, and unfortunately that one was a miss to serve, but being able to serve Newark tough is going to be key for them, and just that scrappy defense keeps them in. Here's Morgan Long, a 5'6 junior reserve serving. Hicks again, and that is blocked. Big number 11, Megan Williams. She's kind of a wild card. You know about Chapman, you, you know about Malone, but Megan Williams has put up some big numbers this year. 22 blocks, 212 kills. She's just a sophomore. So instead of just two bigs, they have three, which at this level is hard to find. Nice athletic play from Lacey Pilgrim. So we talk about this athletic team from Illini Bluffs. Last year, they finished second in softball in the state of Illinois. The basketball team made the Sweet 16. What's interesting, get this, so they have a basketball game on Monday. All five <laughs> starters for the basketball team are playing in this match today, all five. So they're going to practice tomorrow and then play their first basketball game on Monday. Well, I'd heard they hadn't been able to practice yet because of being making it so far into the That's state right. championships. School's got 253 kids. If you say half boys, you're looking at trying to find enough athletes out of about 126 girls. And that is a kill for Emma Hicks. And Emma Hicks is a middle blocker who is really good on one leg. If you watch her in the game and keep an eye on her, she's really good in front of the setter, but she finds her way behind the setter too and able to get some kills. Pilgrim will serve. And that is another point and an ace for Illini Bluffs. Well, right now Illini Bluffs with four total service aces so far. Tigers lead by one. And Newark's got to get Malone up to the front row here. It's noticeably different with her in the back. 9-9. Nine, nine. And here she comes up front. Now you'll see a different Newark team with her up front. Yeah, they definitely work to get the ball out to her and make sure that when they're out of system, she can put that ball down. That is just in. Not by much. That must have hit the backside of the tape. And Newark with the lead now by one. Hannah Alvey, six foot senior. Second on the team with kills with 364. You're watching live coverage of the IHSA Girls Volleyball Championship right here on the NFHS Network. NFHSnetwork.com slash IHSA, your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of Illinois championship action. Live games, replays, highlights, all right here. NFHSnetwork.com 
slash IHSA. Point for Newark. Malone has a presence up there when she's up there blocking. And right now, though, I feel like Illini Bluffs has been able, the score doesn't necessarily reflect how well Illini Bluffs has controlled the power of Newark. That is long. Taylor Purdy was set. Actually, that was Addie Welsh that got set. Welsh with 164 kills. That one was long, though. And a two-point cushion now for the Lady Norsemen. Chapman. Maddie is senior. She's going to Southeastern University down in Florida next year. Career blocks leader for Newark. And that is long. So Newark sending two big girls at the outsides, and they're having a trouble hitting, a, hitting through them. Well, it's a big presence out there and trying to hit the block around it. They've done a nice job, Illini Bluffs, of hitting the middle of the court, but right now with a different look in the front row, they're struggling to get that. And a missed time. Set in the middle, Peyton Pullman with her athleticism tried to hang in the air, but couldn't make contact with the ball. And Newark flexing its muscle, the defending champs pulling away up by five. High school sports fans never miss another game. Become a subscriber to the NFHS Network. To watch live event coverage, game replays, and highlights from high school sporting events from across the nation. Millions of athletes, thousands of games, one destination. NFHFnetwork.com. High school happens here. Again, Newark, if you look back over the years, you know, in 10 years or 15 years, and you'll look back and see if they win this one again, they'll have to go down as one of the better 1A teams with their individual talent that we've seen. Totally agree with that. And just Tanya Grayson, in my opinion, has been able these last four years to really bring that class and get that tradition in and that expectation. Yesterday in the press conference they were talking about after their win is just, no, this is their expectation. They expect to be back here in the championship, and that's really hard to do at a 1A school and have that expectation when you don't have as many students to choose from. That's right. For 161 athletics. at Newark. And it helps to have a superstar, too, like Maddie Malone. And they will lose Maddie Chapman this year. But they bring most everyone else back. Naomi Sweeney, she's a starting outside. She's a senior. But most of their other starters are underclassmen. Chapman got blocked that time by Pullman. Or Malone, rather. Big swing from Hannah Hicks. Hannah Hicks is fun to watch. She gets there on the outside. She, so far, we've seen her be able to hit a cross court and line shot, and she's not afraid of that block that's up in front of her. Great dig by Malone. Hicks again with another kill. She's on fire. Three consecutive points for the Tigers from Glassford, Illinois. Not too far away, just west of Pekin, right along the Illinois River. Here in Mapleton, big power plant over in that area. Chapman in the middle. Maddie Chapman. Well, the Norsemen definitely need to utilize Chapman as much as they can in the middle. If you look at the matchup right now, you have Maddie Chapman sitting at 6-1, and Addie Walsh is going against her at 5-4 right now in the middle. Good coverage there by Taylor Christian. She'll send it across. Welsh was blocked. And a dig in the back row from Scott. Malone dug out of there by Purdy. Diving effort from Lauren Casey. And that is out. What a point. 
That was a hard earned point there for Newark as the Illini Bluff demonstrating their amazing defense and how scrappy they can be. Great dig again from Maggie Scott. Chapman, nicely done, right in front of the sliding Taylor Purdy. It's back to a five-point cushion, three points in a row here by Newark. Well, when you watch Chapman, she has a really good vision out there as a middle. She tips, she hits, she blocks. She has good vision of the court. And Hicks was led too far on that pass. Under the net point for Newark. This is their biggest lead of the match, they're up by six. And a serve into the net. The Illini Bluffs, now is the time. You can't wait much longer. That is long, and that's not what the Tigers needed. Yeah, those unforced errors and it and just not allowing the Nordsman to have to make a decision on that, whether it's in between people, it was clearly way up. Megan Williams back in for Newark. Nice coverage on the baseline by Malone. Williams is blocked. This is Addie Welsh serving for Illini Bluffs. Down by five. Williams blocks straight up in the air. Good job by Pilgrim of keeping that ball alive. Hicks blocked at the net by Chapman. She'll try again. This time took a little something off it. Outstanding level of volleyball. And the finish from Emma Hicks. Great transition there from the Illini Bluffs. Purdy being able to get the dig up and just a nice middle trans transition. Purdy again, down by four. Chapman goes cross court, dug by Pullman. Great touch from Lauren Casey. And the two bigs backed away, both wanting to get information for a potential kill attempt. And the ball fell at their feet. Illini Bluffs scored a couple of points in a row here, Coach. They're within three. They are. And, you know, we talked about the Norseman's team motto being pop, P-O-P. -P. But the Illini Bluffs, it's do your job. And that's exactly the right theme for this game right here because the Norsemen obviously taller, a little bit more physical in the game. But all of them have their role and they're doing their job and being able to defend the Norsemen right now and getting a couple of points there. Illini Bluffs has lost once this year. They lost to Orion back on the 12th of October. So they've been, other than that, perfect. That was at the Monmouth United Tournament. And it was 21-15, 22-20. So I wonder if that would have been to 25, maybe uh, come back in an undefeated season yeah. so far, maybe. Yeah. Right? It's a regulation game. <laughs> Newark trying to defend the state championship. They came in 17 for the first time ever. Lost their two matches, learned a lot, won it all a year ago. They're in position to do so here again. Repeating is so difficult. Making it back here to the Final Four is so difficult, and they've done it three years in a row. For the Bluffs, it's their first ever trip, and Nancy Meyer's been waiting for this. 28 years at the helm, 440 victories. Some confusion at the scoring table. That's why we have a bit of a delay. What are they usually talking about over here with a delay like this? Um, it depends on whether just making sure the score is right or the, how many substitutions. Um, sometimes it's with the libero tracking as well. If the libero is coming in and out, do they have the right 
Did they catch it? Back to play here with Purdy serving. Williams got it blocked. Good effort from Casey. Couldn't dig it. Point for Newark. Much needed as well to stem the tide. Here's Morgan Long. Good serve from Long. Had a lot on that one. From the back, it's Malone. A dig by Pullman. Williams will try. She is blocked by Hicks. And Hicks is blocked. Number 18, Kirsten Freestad, a 5'10 sophomore. Had a timeout taken by the Bluffs. Say if you're in a hurry but want a fresh, affordable meal to serve your family or friends, Biagi's Prano Packs make it easy to enjoy an authentic Italian meal at home or on the go. Perfectly sized to serve four to five people. Starting at only $30, Prano Packs include your choice of a pasta or two pizzas with a house or Caesar salad and freshly baked bread with Biagi's butter for dipping. Or if you're planning a meal for a large group, just ask about their party pan, sized for 8 to 12 and ready for pickup with 24 hours advance notice. Six Illinois locations, Biagi's carryout is the perfect solution for your busy lifestyle. Newark bounces back, Coach. They seem to be wavering a little bit, but they still have a five-point cushion. They do, and some of that's just that experience of being playing in a championship game before, but I do seem to be a little more aggressive at the net. They're up there with their block. And obviously Williams um, being able to get a couple of kills opposite of Maddie Malone. That'll be a kill for Hicks. I really enjoy watching Anna Hicks. Yeah, she's, she's good. Really Good athletic player. out there, and obviously volleyball is not even her her passion, I That's would right. say. She's going here for softball, but she can definitely elevate up above that net and find the kill. I was just about ready to ask you before Malone gets a, a kill there. If you're Tanya Grayson and we would have asked her, hey, late in the first set, Maddie Malone only going to have one kill. Would you be winning or losing? She would have said? I would have been losing. Yeah, I would have been losing. But it's a great team effort after her incredible individual performance yesterday. This has been a team effort because she's only got a couple of kills. Yeah, other people have been stepping in. I'd say probably Megan Williams being one of those where she's sitting with, well, she only has one kill too, but obviously Maddie Chapman has right. been able to be effective in the middle. Williams will get the kill. It's a double block at her, but they did not have the net defended well, and we're at set point, 24-19. Well, and to your point, Scott, a lot of that just shows how, how well-rounded a team yep. is. Sometimes you see that star all the time, but how do they function when maybe they are not getting the ball as much? Cassidy Adams serving for Newark. Trying to finish off the Tigers here. And they will. Set one goes to the defending champs. The Lady Norsemen, 25-19 over Illini Bluffs. At Busey, our story centers around you, your goals, and your dreams. You dreamed of owning your first home. You partnered with us to customize a plan. You started a business. You trusted us to guide you through the ups and downs. You wanted to leave a legacy. You allowed us to bring your dreams to life. Thank you for partnering with us to make tomorrow's dreams today's reality. Busey, your dream, our promise. Well, everything we have is insured with Country Financial. Our home is insured with Country Financial. Our cars. All of our cars, all of our recreational vehicles. Our life is insured and our liability is with Country Financial. We keep in contact on a pretty regular basis and make sure that everything that they think they've got coverage for, they actually do.
33. Been a union laborer for about 13 years. And it's just never the same thing twice. You know, it's a lot of different things. You're always doing different things. I enjoy joining up the union, join the brotherhood, have some backing for good wage, good insurance, retirement. And one for the union, I'll probably be, I'm not sure where I would be at. My name is Ed Marshall, and I'm a local two laborer with KS Energy. One of my most memorable moments of high school was my freshman year when my high school won the state championship in football. What I saw from the upperclassmen was the teamwork that it took to win that state championship. Those guys, many of which went on to become Division I football players, some of which went into the pros, they worked together and they showed us younger fellas what it took to achieve their goals by hard work and dedication. When you're a freshman, you're just trying to survive, but with a lot of hard work and dedication, you end up thriving. So that's what I take with me now. From the Lyona Apprenticeship Program, where guys come in green and who are just trying to survive, with hard work and dedication, they learn to work together as a team that they can get the job done. Back here at Redbird Arena, Scott Slocum, Laura Dornbos, Illini Bluffs. No match in that first set for Newark. It was tight early, but the Norsemen pulled away 25-19. Yeah, I definitely think uh, Maddie Chapman had her way out of the middle with four kills and Maddie Malone with three. If you look at Glassford, it's the story of the Hicks as Hannah Hicks has five kills so far and Emma Hicks with three. So serving for the Illini Bluffs was aggressive. They ended up with three service aces against Newark, but Newark's blocking and ability to kill the ball has kind of been the story of that first set. So when they look at making changes into the second set, I think it goes back to kind of those keys we were talking about. Is right. Illini Bluffs serving tough, having that blocking, and Newark, the defense, and serve receive. They do have some legit talent in terms of volleyball on this Newark team. I mean, Maddie Malone, she's a Division I recruit, obviously. I don't think she's publicly announced where she's going yet, but she's a high major player. Yeah, she's a well-rounded outside hitter. Yep. She's smart with her decisions, and she finds a way to kill the ball, as we saw a match, or excuse me, set point of set one. There she is right there. That's outside the line, so a miss, but still. And then Maddie Chapman's going to Southeastern down in Florida. Megan Williams just a sophomore, she's a six-footer, so she'll be playing volleyball at the next level. Well, just all of them around. They yeah. just, they're just really well-rounded volleyball players. Bluffs. Needs to get off to a fast start. They go to Hicks. Alone down the line again. So already in this set, she has as many kills as she had in all the last set. <laughs> You're right, but you can see that she's finding the way to some open court there using the line, and so far the line I bluffs don't have an answer for it. Nope. And lack of communication there between Pilgrim and Casey. And if you're Nancy Meyer, you don't want to use a timeout yet, but you can't fall behind here by five or six early because Newark will just grind you to your slow death. Pullman to Hicks. And a good dig in the back row by Maggie Scott, the libero. Boy, Malone really winds up, doesn't she? Yes, she does. You can see her from across the court from where we're sitting, and she just has a big old swing. Four to one, quick start for Newark. And that is in just on the line. That'll be kept alive by that scrappy Tiger defense. And a kill from Maddie Chapman. And Coach Meyer's going to have to burn one here in a minute. 
Yeah, I think she recognizes that our serve receive right now is what's causing them to not be able to play as competitively as they would like right here in this set. Six to two, and there is that timeout from Coach Meyer. She's got an experienced staff. She's been around for 28 years. Her assistant coach, Steve Bishop, led this team to a second-place finish when the girls were in eighth grade, and Jenna Dunn, her other assistant, actually played for Coach Meyer at Illini Bluffs. She's got a good staff over there, and well, she comes right out on the court, and she's letting Coach Bishop have this timeout. Yeah, well, that's awesome that he has that familiar familiarity with them as he coached them in eighth grade. Now the senior class, they're familiar with them. I think there's a lot to be said at that junior high level, building those fundamentals and seeing them carry through to the high school. So that was quick. Didn't even let him come over and get water. He met him out in the yeah. middle of the court. You don't see that very often. <laughs> he was serious. This will be Naomi Sweeney serving for Newark. It was that serve receive that you talked about. Didn't allow the line I bluffed to get set up, and Chapman misfires on that one. Yeah, serve receive's key. When we talk about getting set up, it's more of that having the best pass to let your setter have more than one option. If the one option is just a back row, or maybe a high outside that's pretty predictable. But if you can have a nice pass where you have two to three options with the hitters, that's gonna be more beneficial. To that you. was Taylor Christian. And I just did a little math here, Coach Dornbos. Yes. She needed 38 assists to set the school record for career assists. She had 32 yesterday. She has nine today, so she now is the all-time leader in assists at Newark High School. That is pretty amazing when you think of some of the great programs and people that have gone through that program. And there's a kill for Hannah Hicks. This Bluffs team will not go quietly. All they need is a little something good to happen to them, and they'll get right back into this thing. They're only down by three, even though they're being outplayed here in the second set. I think that's what's fun about them is you watch them and you just they just play so well as equals, I would say. There's not the that dominating factor. They just play well as a team. And in fact the team that they beat to get here to the final four is a team that was knocking off other teams around the area, Midland, and they were just scrappy. They were they would just surprise you with their scrappiness. So it says a lot about them being here. There's a really good swing from Hannah Alvey. And also, as we mentioned, a basketball player. And that is an ace. Well, that is exactly how the line I have bluffs have been able to get a a lot of their points and keeping Newark back on their heels as they're serving. They're aggressive. They're serving in between players, making the players have to decide who's going to take that ball. In that case, Maddie Malone is right there. Williams gets the kill. <laughs> Megan Williams, her sister Michaela, played on the 17 team, and her mom played at Newark. So they bleed blue. To the outside, Alvey, good dig. And a kick save attempt by Maggie Scott. Give credit, though, to Maddie Malone. She's not just a big hitter. No, she can she, play the back row also. Yeah, she's what we call a six rotation player. So she's playing all six spots within the, the game, and that usually means you have to be good on defense. You have to be able to serve, receive. She's an all well-rounded player. That was Heaven Miller. Misfiring on that serve. Gives Newark a three-point lead. This will be Cassidy Adams now. 5-2 junior defensive specialist on for Newark. How about that strong hit from Addie Well, She's only 5-4 and she can jump. 
She sure can. She's fun. She's a middle hitter, so she actually plays in the middle and is going against Maddie Chapman here for Newark. Malone back in at the left. Good dig from Pilgrim. Hicks is blocked. What well, good coverage in the back there from Alvey. And then Hicks takes a little something off that to get it over the block and gets another kill. She's starting to rack up some big numbers. Eight kills for her already. And Illini Bluffs with this point can tie the second set. And here's her opportunity. It's going to be Hicks. She had to punch that one over. Probably going out of bounds. But Alvy wasn't sure where she was. But how about the block, though? By Addie Welsh at 5-4. They're in the middle. You called her a middle, and that's what she's listed at. She doesn't look like it, though. Nope, but she can jump. And she's athletic, so she's quick to the ball and able to follow her hitter. And line up on her for a soft block. That ball is out. Pullman to Hicks. And just like that, Newark, who was in jeopardy of losing the lead, is back up by a three-point margin, a little bit of a cushion. I'll try again. And it works this time. Tough job up there on the stand. I'm not sure that first swing by Hicks ever made it over the net to the blockers. Yeah, I'm not sure either, but that's tough to see it that is. sometimes. That's Amy Cook up there doing a good job. Darnell Jones on the floor. The line judges, Kathy Clark and Robin Keen. And there is the All-Stater, Matty Malone. Today's game is also available for all subscribers via the mobile website. Log on to nfhsnetwork.com from your smartphone or tablet and view live games or replays from anywhere. Hicks taken out by Malone. Well, that's a tough matchup right there. Hicks swinging. Um, she's hitting a too high ball out there in the middle, but tall block there by Matty Malone. Pullman with the set. Hicks in the middle. Blocked again by Chapman. And they sent a double right at Lacey Pilgrim, who's able to get the kill anyway. Christian taken out by Emma Hicks. Emma Hicks has been kind of quiet in the second set with her first block here at the set, but in first set she had three kills and it's got a nice matchup here against Maddie Chapman. Malone tips it over, but she went under the net. And a bluff's point brings them within one again. This is where they got to make their move here, Laura. Yeah, I totally agree. It's that kind of that middle of the game, and if you're going to get on a a oh, streak here. This is the time, but and unfortunately. That, yeah, that did not help. The momentum in these games is sometimes just feels like it's just so overpowering for a small amount of points. You know, sometimes it feels like it's really a game to five rather than 25 because the momentum could just overwhelm you. Megan Williams with the block, but they kept it alive. Newark started to celebrate. Oh, and they do get the point. Said the ball hit the floor. Bluffs doesn't like it at all. The girls are looking at the official Amy Cook with anger in their eyes. Again, this is a scrappy group. Last year, second place in the state softball tournament. Basketball last year, the Sweet 16. This will go down as the greatest group of athletes ever at Illini Bluffs. They're not going to win the argument. And that'll be a point for Newark, and they're back up by three. A little dink over the top that brushed off the fingers of one of the Newark girls. So a kill for Emma Hicks. Bringing her to four kills, hitting 300. And actually both teams not exactly hitting high percentages as Glassford 
Illini Bluffs is .042, while Newark, you'd expect them to be a little more overpowering, but they're only hitting 192 right now. What a break for Naomi Sweeney in Newark. She missed past it. It just barely made it over the net and bounced on the bluff side of the court. And you know what that is, Scott? That's a kill. That is, that is <laughs> one of the ugliest kills you'll ever see, but it's effective in the state championship game. On the slide, Emma Hicks's kill attempt is erased. And Newark can see the finish line. They can see another championship trophy not too far off in the distance. Not so fast, says Hannah Alvey. She's with her fourth kill there, hitting 167 so far in the game. Three-point deficit for the Bluffs. The run's got to come now, or they'll run out of time. Williams is blocked. Good cleanup there from Scott. Malone from the back. That was touched. And that will be another kill for Maddie Malone. She doesn't have the monster numbers today, but her presence she always has to be accounted for. Timeout by Nancy Meyer. If you'd like to buy a keepsake copy of today's event, click on the blue Get the DVD button directly under your event video player or click on the Buy a DVD button on the top right-hand corner of the NFHS Network website. You can also click the digital copy button under the event video player to download a digital copy of the event right to your computer. So, Scott, Illini Bluffs have 27 digs. Newark has 24. Newark has 18 kills, and Illini Bluff has 22. So, statistically saying, Illini Bluffs actually statistically are winning this game right now, but it comes down to points and ability to, to score when it matters. Certainly does. Nineteen to fifteen, Newark serving. Again, they go to the outside to Hannah Alvey, and again she produces. Well, Alvey's been able to find some success against the news. The Norsemen on the outside. And there's a point in the middle, so Newark gets to 20. So if Newark wins the championship, and it certainly looks like they will, they'll become the third 1A team since they went to the four classes in 2007. Eastland repeated in eight or won it in eight and nine. Keith Country Day in Rockford won it in 12, 13, and 14. So Newark will have won it in 18 and 19, becoming the third 1A team to repeat. And then if they won it next year, super play there by Cassidy Adams in the back. So if they win this year, win it again next year, they will have matched Country Day for the only teams to three-peat in a little over a decade of four-class volleyball. Well, and Newark does have some players coming back oh, in that yes, tradition. They do. And even the freshmen and sophomores up at, coming up in that program. And that's one of them that'll be back. Maddie Malone, she's only a junior. It's almost too easy for her. <laughs> she is pretty graceful when she plays. It makes it look pretty easy. And no emotion. I've never seen her smile. Never seen her get angry. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty even keel. That'll be a kill for Hicks through the hands of Maggie Scott. So Bluff still hanging around, but again, the clock is ticking. Newark only needs four more points. Only three more points. 
Chapman with a kill. Well, Maddie Chapman, she's a, what, a middle blocker, but you see with the Norseman on the rotation, she actually hits outside. In that case, gained the kill on the outside. Really good game for Maggie Scott in that libero position. Out of bounds. Point for Lanai Bluffs. 22-19, and here is Taylor Purdy. She will serve. The ball hit the tape, but stayed in bounds. And was not out of bounds. They're asking for a review. Lacey Pilgrim over talking to the referee, and the referee says, I had the call. It's mine. So 23-19. Nancy Meyer not happy again with the officiating. I think she was questioning because the line judge called it out. But again, it's up to the top official. What she saw, she can overrule the line judge. Championship points. And fittingly, Maddie Malone will be serving. They'll have to wait to celebrate. Well, Emma Hicks has had success out there on the outside, getting her fifth kill. And she's not wanting this to end quite yet. These girls from Illini Bluffs finished second in the state in softball, second in the state in volleyball as eighth graders. And they don't want to finish second this year in the state volleyball tournament. They're hanging around. Save two match points. And their fans rise to their feet. They've saved three. Timeout taken. You knew that was coming from Tanya Grayson, didn't you? You did. She wants to settle her team down a little. A little bit of miscommunication back there in the back row as far as who's going to dig that ball. But love how aggressive Illini Bluffs has been in these final points here. Swinging away, not afraid. The Salani Bluffs team, they're light. You know what they do during the year? They'll go to opposing PA announcers and tell them something that isn't true a couple of different times this year. They <laughs> said it was Nancy Meyer's birthday. So the opposing PA announcer will go, happy birthday to Coach Meyer. And she's like, it's not my birthday. <laughs> have you Have you been, uh, did you have this happen to you? I did not. Okay, good. I did not. <laughs> like, are we spewing good facts here? Lighthearted group. See if they can extend this match. They've saved three match points. This will be their toughest challenge yet. And back to back for Lady Norseman. Megan Williams, the sophomore, gets the winning kill. And Tanya Grayson, welcome back to the winner's circle. Twenty-five, nineteen, twenty-five, twenty-two. State champions again for the Newark Lady Norsemen. At Busey, our story centers around you, your goals, and your dreams. You dreamed of owning your first home. You partnered with us to customize a plan. You started a business. You trusted us to guide you through the ups and downs. You wanted to leave a legacy. You allowed us to bring your dreams to life. Thank you for partnering with us to make tomorrow's dreams today's reality. Busey, your dream, our promise. It's not just the ships, the armor, 
Or the aircraft. It's something more. It's the will to fight and determination to win found inside each and every Marine that answers a nation's call. Battles won. The new $3 Little John from Jimmy John's is just like our original sandwiches, only littler. So we bought a little ad on Lil John. Little John, yeah! $3, what? All across America, teenagers are making a difference, gaining respect and changing the future. Here in Illinois, the future is now. 16 and 17 year olds can now register to be organ tissue donors in Illinois. Nearly 5,000 people in our state need a life-saving organ and about 300 people die every year waiting. Be part of the solution. Join the Illinois Secretary of State's Organ Tissue Donor Registry. Register at lifegoeson.com. Well, it's what you want it to be. I mean, if you come in with the right attitude, you can make it a career. Uh, well, first of all, all the benefits. Uh, the pay, of course. I can't be put, you know, I like working. I like being outdoors and working, so I think that's a big plus for me. The money I make, I've been able to go on vacations when I want to and buy a new car and... The 2019 IHSA Volleyball Championships are brought to you by Country Financial. Preparing for your financial future doesn't have to be complicated. Take it one simple step at a time at takesimplesteps.com. Busey Bank. Your dream, our promise. And by Layuna, proud partner of the IHSA. For more information, visit layunacareers.org. Lady Norseman win the 1A state championship for a second consecutive year, Coach, and they did it with all-around good numbers. They did with the Newark finishing with 23 kills compared to Glassford's uh, Illini Bluffs 26. But overall, I just think the game of volleyball just came a little bit more consistent to the Newark Norsemen. Right, and they had the best player on the floor. That always helps. Matty Malone is, is special. Uh, over uh, right at 500 kills, give or take one or two for the season. I mean, those are just ridiculous numbers. Yes, absolutely. And finishing this with a championship match with 10 kills, it's a good way to come uh, back for next year. Right? Absolutely. And Taylor <laughs> Christian setting the all-time assist record at Newark as well. So a record-setting year. And again, the Newark Lady Norsemen become only the third team to go back-to-back -back since we went to a four-class system in 2007. We are set for the trophy presentation for it. Here's Greg Gardner, the public address announcer here at Illinois State University. And the players, 
Thank <laughs> you. 